Hello world, my name is Nick360 and welcome to another episode of Prison Architect. In today's episode we're going to talk an important part about Prison Architect. Like many features in Prison Architect, we're going to have to unlock it first. We are going to go to health and we're going to research it. Now, health requires having a warden and that warden have an office. And you can tell kind of this flow that the warden is necessary for health. And if the warden's not in the office, this won't research. So it's really important that, you know, you have a warden. You could do this pretty early on, but you don't really need it. I've done a lot, quite a lot first before we got done health, but it doesn't matter too much. While we're waiting for health to research, I'm just expanding out my prison. If, if you're watching from the beginning, this is the same prison I've been using for all of my tutorials. So I'm just expanding a little bit. Uh, now we're going to build a room for this. There we go. Health has been researched and we our little room has been built. Now let's just put a little bit of the power in. There we go. This room is going to serve as our infirmary. This is essentially the nurse's office of the prison. Because accidents and fights can happen in the prison, it's nice to have a place where injuries can be treated. We have our infirmary, and it can be of any size as long as it's indoors, but it doesn't have to have medical beds. You only need one medical bed, but it also is going to need a doctor, and doctor's doctor is $100 per day, so if we watch, okay, and but the doctors will go around and heal anybody they see. Having a doctor heal people is very important. The longer people are healed, the better their health will be. So if we go to a random prisoner and we look at their grading, looking at a random prisoner, their health affects the reoffending chance. Looking at health, it's a little hard to see here. Being in the prison with untreated injuries, so being hurt and then not having anyone heal it, that will count against their health. And so the more of that happens, the greater their chance of reoffending is. And you want this number to be as low as possible. And we talked about this in the last episode during parole. You're going to want your prisoners to have the lowest reoffending chance so you can ha get the most money out of parole as possible. Alright, we have our doctor. Now let us get our medical bed. Medical beds aren't strictly necessary for healing people. We already saw this doctor going around and healing people, but it does serve one important purpose. If we go to reports, we go to programs. There's, there is a bunch of programs that use medical beds. One of these is the treatment for drug addictions. If we look here, we can do a session, so it's $200 per session, and we can treat, we use the doctor in the infirmary and a medical bed to treat drug addiction. If your prisoners are affected by drug addictions, this class here will help treat that. But as you can see, there's only enough room for as many medical beds. So if we start here, and we go scroll up to the top, so, uh, pharmaceutical treatment of drugs. Here it is. Uh, so it's one hour, and let's see, well, here's our, here's our person. This is the same person that we tried to parole, and well, considering he's back in the prison, that means he was denied parole and he's angry. So, yeah, that's not good. He wants to be let out. But right now, each parole can only parole one person at a time. That's why I'm trying to show parole. So it's one person at a time. One person is sitting here being evaluated. And as you can see here, well, it's just it's just one person. Well, right now we have one bed here so that we only have one spot open. If we go to objects and put in more medical beds... So let's just put, I like to leave a little bit of room between them. And I mean, medical beds, they're a little pricey, but they're not, they can be worth it. There we go. So that's eight. And so when we said before we had one, now we have eight. But look what happens to pharmaceutical treatment of drug, drug addiction. Actually, let us, I think we have to refresh it. So I'm going to stop that program. And we're going to start it again. And see, there we go. We have a lot more seats available for this course. So now for the $200, instead of treating one person, we can treat eight people. So that's a much more efficient use of our time. Now, if we're looking, that was $500 for bed and that was eight beds. That's kind of expensive. So we're going to want to use a grant. And there is a couple grants associated with health and well-being. Uh, this one here, well, associated with health and well-being, such as health and well-being. So we're going to do this grant here. And we look, we need to hire at least two doctors. We already got the one doctor. We already researched. We already have our infirmary. They call it a medical ward. So we just get another doctor, and there we go. We just got $20,000 for for doing that, and there we go. Now we have our two doctors. Now, you can actually move doctors around in your prison. So you can left-click on a doctor and right-click him to go somewhere, and he will go. He or she will go over to that area, and if they see any people that are injured, they'll try and heal them. 
So looking here, it's work time, and that's when these classes are offered during work time. That's why it's so important to have work time. We have our one prisoner who just finished up were, uh, finished up some treatment for the therapy. Now be warned, the infirmary has a couple risks associated with it. The irony of the infirmary is that it's one of the best ways to eliminate drug addictions, but it's the easiest source of drugs. So many different kinds of drugs can be found in the infirmary, and simply walking, having prisoners be able to walk into the infirmary, you know, and clean up stuff, and then walk away. I mean, that prisoner could have, they need drugs. They're, they're, they are a person who knows that we want drugs. So we're going to search this prisoner because they just was in the infirmary and we'll see if we've had any drugs. Yep, he found some drugs. That is not good. So now this infirmary is a source of drugs for our prison. So how can we stop that? Well, fortunately, we had deployment. We researched deployment earlier. We can actually say staff only to this infirmary. We're going to assign the infirmary to staff only. Now, what does staff only mean? Well, it means only staff are allowed in that area. But that doesn't mean the services of the infirmary are only going to be used for staff. What it means is this building, only people who are staff are allowed into this building. Staff only is really good for things that you don't want people to get into. So right here, this is where we have our power. And this is where prisoners come into the prison. So this is where they're not supposed to be. In chief office, warden office, foreman office, staff room, all these areas that they're not allowed in. And there's different security levels who can say, oh, only minimum security are allowed in here. Or shared is what it is normally. And anyone of any security level is allowed in here. One last thing to talk about in this episode before we wrap it up, and that is the morgue. Going to rooms here, we have a new room available because we did the research for the infirmary. We also have the morgue. So we're going to need to build a building for the morgue. I'm just going to stick it out here because I'm not really using that space right now. And I'm also going to show you how to add on a building to a pre-existing building. So let's say I wanted to add something here. I can do this. Uh, some people mess it up. So right now, I created this new building. And I kind of committed to it. And if I wanted to extend this building out a little bit more, I could do that. But I don't want to do that right now. Anyway, there, our workers are going to go and put in the basin. But this new building also is going to require an entrance just to have it built. So I, if I want to put the entrance here going <laughs> to bring the dead bodies to the warden's office, I could do that. I don't think that's a very sanitary thing to do, so I won't make it like that. But let's put, um, let's put a staff door right here. So this is where the morgue is going to be. So this is where the dead prisoners are going to be. Dead prisoners and workers are going to be brought. And then, here we go. If I want to take these three small rooms here and make one big room, I could demolish the walls, demolish, demolish the walls and allow this to be one big room. So that's kind of how you add a building on to another building. But we don't want to do that. We want this to be our morgue. Also, let's get some power in here. There we go. The morgue is basically an elaborate refrigerator. What that means is this is where the bodies get brought and it's cooled to make sure that the bodies don't rot. And you really only need one of these slabs for the morgue to serve, serve its function. But a bad things happen from time to time and it isn't, the, it isn't a bad idea to have a little extra room in your morgue just in case something really bad happens. Also, you may have missed it. Um, going up to recent transactions, I actually got a prisoner was paroled and I got $3,000 for the early prisoner release. So that's the parole. So that means that the prisoner was paroled and because my prison reformed them, uh, and, you know, I got $3,000 for that. So that is good. That, that source of income is actually being effective. If you go to finance, we can actually look at our money and say, hey, we're making $52 a day. Uh, apparently hiring doctors and building buildings isn't that good for your wages per day. But the longer we go without incident, the more money we make per day. So we're doing actually pretty well. But we might we might need to expand our prison to get in more prisoners who can make more money and expand even further. But we now have another set of facilities that a big prison is going to need. So we're expanded more and we have more of the facilities that a, a real big prison needs. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. If you'd like to see the last video, there's a link right here. If you'd like to subscribe, so to get notified for new videos, there's a link right here. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.